Ever wondered how the strong, durable concrete sleepers beneath railway tracks are made? First, steel reinforcement bars, rebars, or pre-stressed wires are carefully placed into specially designed molds, ensuring maximum structural integrity. Next, a high-performance concrete mix made from cement, sand, gravel, and additives is poured into these molds and compacted to eliminate air bubbles. To achieve maximum durability, the sleepers undergo a pre-stressing process, where the steel wires inside are stretched before the concrete sets, making the sleeper stronger and crack-resistant. Once the concrete has cured, the sleepers are demolded, quality-checked, and tested under high-pressure loads to ensure they meet railway safety standards. Finally, they are stacked, stored and transported to railway construction sites where they support the tracks that keep the world moving. Let's take a look at mattresses. It's a perfect blend of engineering, comfort and craftsmanship to ensure you get the best sleep possible. The process begins with high-density foam, steel coils or a combination of both, depending on the type of mattress. For inner spring mattresses, heavy-duty steel wires are shaped into coils and arranged in precise patterns, providing the mattress with its support and bounce. Meanwhile, for memory foam mattresses, polyurethane foam is poured, expanded and cut into layers, ensuring softness and contouring comfort. Once the core structure is ready, Multiple comfort layers, such as gel-infused foam, latex or cotton padding, are added for pressure relief and breathability. The entire assembly is then wrapped in a luxurious quilted fabric cover, which is meticulously stitched and tufted to hold everything in place. Finally, the mattresses go through compression testing, durability checks and quality assurance before being rolled, packed and shipped, ready to give you the perfect night's sleep. Ever heard of a material that's stronger than steel, lighter than aluminum and immune to rust? Meet Horn FRP Structural Solutions, a game changer in industrial construction. Unlike traditional steel or concrete, is a composite material made from high strength fibers like glass or carbon mixed with durable resin. This makes it corrosion resistant, lightweight and ridiculously strong. It's made through a process called pultrusion where fibers are soaked in resin, pulled through a heated mold and cured into ultra-tough structural shapes. Why does this matter? Because FRP lasts longer, needs zero maintenance and doesn't rust, crack or rot. Industries use it for bridges, window frames, cooling towers and more. Simply put, it's the superhero material that outperforms steel without the weight or the headache. Ever wondered how those rock-solid electrical pliers in your toolbox are made? It all starts with high-carbon steel rods heated to a scorching 1,200 degrees Celsius, making them red-hot and malleable. These glowing metal pieces are then forged under massive hydraulic presses, shaping them into the rough outline of pliers while boosting their strength and durability. The pliers then go through heat treatment where they're reheated and rapidly cooled, making them tougher, harder and wear resistant. To prevent rust and add grip, a protective coating like nickel or black oxide is applied, giving them that sleek, industrial look. Finally, they're fitted with insulated ergonomic handles, ensuring safety and comfort for electricians worldwide. Next, they head to Precision CNC Machining, where robotic arms trim, refine and sharpen the cutting edges to microscopic precision, ensuring they can slice through wires like butter.
Ever thought about the tiny, fiery magic of a matchstick? It may be small, but its manufacturing process is nothing short of amazing. It all starts with high-quality wood, usually poplar or aspen, which is peeled into thin sheets using a rotary cutter. These sheets are then sliced into thousands of matchstick-sized sticks before being dried and smoothed to prevent splinters. Now, onto the real magic. The match heads are made from a fiery cocktail of chemicals, including potassium chlorate, sulfur, and powdered glass, which ensure a quick and smooth ignition. The sticks are dipped into this special formula, then dried in massive ovens to harden the coating. Finally, they are packed into those iconic matchboxes, complete with a phosphorus-based striking surface. Ever thought about how a simple shovel a tool that has dug trenches, planted trees, and built civilizations is actually made. Well, let's dive into the high-tech, heavy-duty world of SMSM shovel manufacturing. The wooden shaft of a shovel starts as a solid hardwood log, usually hickory or ash, chosen for its toughness and flexibility. The log is cut into rectangular billets and then dried to remove moisture, preventing warping. Next, Machines shape the billets into round or oval shafts, smoothing them with sanding belts for a comfortable grip. Next, we need high-quality steel sheets, carefully selected for durability and strength. These sheets are cut into flat shovel blanks using precision laser cutting or industrial stamping presses. The real magic happens in the forging stage, where the blanks are heated to over 1,200 degrees Celsius and pressed into the classic shovel shape, ensuring maximum toughness and impact resistance. Next, the shovels go through edge sharpening and heat treatment, making them rugged enough to slice through hard soil and rock without bending. A protective coating, like powder coating, paint, or anti-rust treatment, is then applied to keep the shovel resistant to corrosion and extreme weather conditions. Meanwhile, the handles, usually made from hardwood or fiberglass, are shaped, polished, and securely fitted onto the shovel head. Ever wondered how plastic waste transforms into soft, durable fabric? Make its advanced recycling process turns PET, polyethylene terephthalate, waste materials into recycled polyester staple fiber, RPSF giving plastic bottles a second life in textiles. It all starts with pet waste collection, mainly from used plastic bottles, which are cleaned, shredded, and processed into pet flakes. These flakes are then heated and melted at precise temperatures to remove impurities before being extruded through fine nozzles, forming continuous polyester filaments. The filaments are rapidly cooled and stretched, increasing their strength and elasticity. Next, the fibers are cut into staple lengths, crimped for texture, and then processed into soft, high-quality RPSF fabric, ready to be spun into yarn or directly used in textile production. Ever wondered how industries keep their fluids pure and contamination-free? Enter Brisfilter, a cutting-edge filtration system designed for ultra-fine particle separation in industrial processes. But how is this high-performance filter made? Let's dive in. It all starts with precision-engineered stainless steel or high-grade polymer casings, which are molded, cut, and polished for durability and corrosion resistance. Inside, the magic happens. Multi-layered microfiltration membranes are crafted using synthetic fibers or metal mesh, designed to trap even the tiniest impurities. These membranes are then pleated and tightly packed to maximize surface area, ensuring high efficiency filtration with minimal clogging. The filter elements go through heat treatment and chemical coatings, enhancing their resistance to extreme temperatures and harsh chemicals. Once assembled, every brisk filter is subjected to high pressure testing, ensuring zero leaks and maximum filtration performance.
The result? A filter that guarantees cleaner fluids, longer equipment life, and peak industrial efficiency, keeping machinery running smoothly and contamination at bay. Let's talk about paper plates. High quality paperboard or recycled pulp is rolled into sheets, coated for moisture resistance, and then cut and molded under heat and pressure. To enhance durability, the edges are curled or embossed, and some plates receive wax or lamination for extra grease resistance. Let's get into 3D sand printing by Tongtai. Using binder jetting technology, it precisely layers sand and liquid binder to create highly detailed molds and cores for casting. This means faster production, complex geometries, and zero need for traditional tooling. Ideal for foundries and industrial prototyping. Meet the Tongtai GT500, a powerhouse in five-axis machining. This beast is designed for high-precision, multi-angle machining, making complex parts with insane accuracy and speed. With a rigid structure, high-speed spindle, and simultaneous five-axis movement, it can cut, mill, and shape intricate designs in a single setup, reducing production time and errors. Did you ever wonder how air springs are made? Air springs are built for strength, flexibility, and durability. It starts with reinforced rubber and high-strength fabric layers, which are molded and cut into precise shapes. These layers are then wrapped around a metal or plastic core, forming a sealed air chamber. Next, the assembly goes through vulcanization, a high heat process that bonds the rubber for maximum elasticity and strength. After cooling, metal end caps and mounting plates are attached, ensuring a secure fit. Finally, each air spring undergoes pressure testing, guaranteeing it can handle extreme loads. Ever wondered how those rock-solid pliers in your toolbox are crafted with precision and durability? It all begins with premium-grade, high-carbon steel chosen for its strength and resilience. These steel rods are heated to over 1,200 degrees Celsius and then forged under massive hydraulic presses, shaping them into the rough form of pliers while enhancing their toughness. Once forged, they go through CNC machining, where robotic arms precisely cut, trim and refine the shape, ensuring smooth edges and perfect alignment. The cutting jaws are then hardened through heat treatment, making them razor sharp and ultra durable. Next comes the protective coating process, where the pliers are treated with nickel, chrome, or black oxide to prevent rust and corrosion. But they're not complete without ergonomic insulated handles, which are molded and fitted for comfort and safety. And that's a wrap. We just took a deep dive into some of the most fascinating manufacturing processes, from mattresses that give you the perfect night's sleep, to concrete sleepers that keep railways running smoothly. If you enjoyed this journey through innovation, craftsmanship, and heavy-duty production, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Got a process you want us to explore next? Drop it in the comments below.